Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at non-positive functions and how they uh, impact Riemann sums. So just the definition of lower and upper Riemann sums again. The lower Riemann sum is the sum of n equals 1 to n. Uh, so this should be i equals 1 to n. Uh, m of i change in x, we're just summing up rectangles where this m is the minimum. And the upper Riemann sum is very similar except this m is the maximum value. Now, let's look at this non-positive function. Okay, well this is a positive and negative function. So in the positive region, we're used to seeing this type of thing. So say we have this rectangle here. Uh, this rectangle there would be the, is the lower Riemann sum, would be part of the lower Riemann sum, and this rectangle here would be part of the upper Riemann sum. Okay, taking that as the maximum capital M and this as the minimum little n, little m. Okay, but down here, this is the non-positive region. And what's happening is actually the exact opposite. Okay, so if we look here, this rectangle, the blue one, is now actually a bigger rectangle than the red one, which is the opposite to what's happening in the positive region. Okay, so over there is capital M, and over here is little m. So the way to think of this, just to provide a bit of background, is which is minimum and which is maximum of these two options. Okay, so let's say we had 2 and 5. 5 is obviously maximum and 2 is minimum. That's obvious. Okay, 5 is a bigger number than 2. 